High rates of malnutrition in some parts of the country have contributed to health challenges such as low birth weight and standing amongst children under five. Standing rates have only decreased by 2% in a seven-year period of 2006 to 2013. This is despite government and civil society's interventions to provide food and education to vulnerable families. The highest levels of standing are found in the Hartap, Karas, Ohangwena, Oshikoto and the Kavango regions. The global children's rights advocate thus called for better coordination between civil society organization and government. Partnerships are very important because malnutrition is cross-sectoral and more importantly, advocacy. In that regard, we need nutrition champions. Take up one thing, say, encouraging adolescent mothers to go to antenatal clinics, encouraging lactating mothers to exclusively breastfeed for six months, deworming, construction of proper toilets. There are many themes in this collection which any one of us can pick up and make it your advocacy message. Nafin's chairperson, Naa Sangula, says there is a need for more responses to address malnutrition, maternal health needs, and infant mortality rates, which he attributes to poverty. We have to stop this thing or say, oh, we need to coordinate. We need to join efforts. We need to join hands. So who is going to join hands? Just start joining hands. Make it happen. And what does it mean? It means you are going to say, who is working in commerce? And all of you are working in commerce. You will sit down and you are going to draft how you work together. The former premier also called for more outreach programs promoting healthy living amongst pregnant women and children. Salmi Hangula, NBC News, Venduk.